Okay, this is pretty much done. And it's amazing. Now I need to figure out all the rest of the parts. Now, the reason I could figure out all this before I did all the rest is because most of this uh, doesn't have to have any reference to the rest of the machine. The only thing it needs is it has to attach by these pivot points. So it was easy to design this whole thing. But now with the next parts of the machine, they all connect to each other in ways that are not necessarily obvious. So I kind of need to design the whole next, the whole rest of everything all at once. At least, at least get the main details out of the way. So in order to do that, I've been pulling materials out and just taking a look at what I have. I have three of these, which I think will probably be useful. Another one right, right there. And, you know, I have a lot of like little pieces and, you know, maybe not little, but smaller than those. But I'm, I'm going to need some big pieces to make this big frame that the saw needs to go on. So I just went and got the only thing I think I currently have that'll do it. It's on my boat right now. Here, I'll show you. This thing here used to be the mast of a ship. Actually, the, the second mast. This is a smaller one. There was a bigger one. And it's just... You know, I've been saving it for something really good. And there's so many amazing things I could do with it. And I think I need to use it for the lumber mill. Even though there are like a hundred other things I could do with it. But it's like the perfect thing for the big main frame part. Because it's, it's going to be really strong. It's going to be heavy enough that, you know, the thing's not going to tip over very easily. But it's going to be light enough that it's easy to move. Yeah, it's just, it's just like the perfect thing. So I think probably I'm going to use this. Look how long it is. It's like, well, it's longer than my boat by quite a bit anyway. And then I also have back here in my, you know, junk stuff, this cart. It's like a pretty strong, I need to pull it out of there. It's got all this junk on top of it, but it's, it's a pretty strong stainless steel rectangle with some sides coming up. And it even has some wheels on the bottom, which maybe I could use to move the whole thing. I don't know. I'll have to check them out. I, I need to pull that out. Get this. Aurora, why is there so much, so much cardboard in here? Has this become your cardboard dumping ground? Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking to you. This is like Aurora's mega workshop. And uh, whenever she gets tired of something, it goes off the end of the table right here. So we're going to have to clean it up. Sorry, what happens? It accidentally falls off. Oh, it accidentally falls off. Sorry. Well, either way, we need to clean it up. And I need to get that out of there. Now I'm at the part where I think I have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to do. However, I want to spend, I don't know, maybe like a day just rolling around other ideas in my head, like kind of variations and things, and then some ideas that are just completely weird and crazy, you know, because every once in a while one of those nut brain ideas Turns out to be really good, so uh, yeah. So I'm I'm probably going to use that ship mast to build a big frame, and use those big rectangle pieces to build a piece that goes on that frame that can move up and down, and then use that stainless steel cart to move to build a piece that goes left and right on that <laughs> second piece, and then that stainless steel piece is what the saw will attach to. And yeah, and then I'll have wheels under the, the big frame because it has to have wheels so it can drive, you know, along a log and cut a log. And then it would drive along probably a couple pipes that I don't have yet, but I, I can get pipes. That's not that hard. So that's probably what I'm going to do. But then another part of my brain is working on a different problem. I say to that guy, okay, look, you've got this saw blade. And it's spinning. Let's just look at the problem in the most basic way. The saw blade has to go like this, all the way down a log, and then rotate, and then come back, all the way back down the log. So get rid of all preconceived notions. Don't think about uh, what, what you're probably going to do. Just, just throw everything out and just start with that most basic principle. 
and see what you come up with. And sometimes, I mean, that guy comes up with stuff I end up doing kind of a lot of the time, actually. Although, right now, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to do. But yeah, let me just let me just run it around in my head for a while. And thinking like this usually involves a lot of pacing around. I'll do some cooking, play some video games. It's just like, just like, yeah, doing stuff in my head. All right, just for visual reference, this is the basic idea that I'm probably going to end up doing. The blue part here, that's the, you know, the main frame, the main frame which rolls along whatever track and this whole thing moves down the track, right? And then this red part is the part that moves up and down. So it'll slide up and down on these blue parts. And then the yellow part there, that will slide this way. So the yellow part slides this way. You could say that's the X axis. This is the a Y axis and this is a Z axis. I mean, depending on how you want to orient your axes, axes. And anyway, and I'm thinking of making this mainly out of that, that mast from the ship. And this part, ooh, those aluminum, aluminum uh, rectangle tubes. And then this yellow part out of that steel cart thing. And these, this all is not the correct details at all, like all the connections and the shapes of everything, but this is just to get a, a rough idea of what I'm probably gonna do. But my brain is just gonna think of all kinds of different things and someone's probably gonna give me some suggestions and some comments here and maybe I'll read those too and at some point I'll either do this or I don't know. <laughs>